And your Storm Team 2 forecast will start with a look on our Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems time lapse as some rain moved through, especially north of downtown Dayton. We saw a couple of periods of heavy rainfall. Right now it's 71 degrees. Winds are out of the southwest, and we do continue to see high humidity values heading into the night. We'll continue to be tracking some scattered showers through the area. Right now Dayton is starting to clear out. We still have some light rain moving into Greene County now, so from Beaver Creek to Fairborn and even up to Springfield in Clark County, seeing some of that light rain. Overall, you probably won't notice it unless you are outside. We'll likely see a little bit of a break, but then another round of rain is expected to move through by tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, these storms really did break up as they moved into the Miami Valley, so our rainfall totals didn't add up to much. We picked up about a half uh, or really six one hundredths of an inch at the Dayton International Airport, closer to a tenth of an inch to our northern county. Some of us maybe into Mercer County could have seen a little bit more than that. Satellite radar imagery does show those storms really falling apart over the Miami Valley. We just lost daytime heating. That's when we lose our visible satellite imagery, and that's when these storms really kind of weaken as well. You can see, though, this is that cold front. There's still some scattered storms along that frontal boundary, and so we'll be dealing with storms throughout tomorrow until that slow moving front finally passes. Showers overnight, but morning thunderstorms will be possible. We keep our severe weather index at no threat. Here's a breakdown. So tomorrow as early as 4 or 5 a.m. We start to see some of those storms developing. That'll continue through the time you would be headed to work. So 8 a.m., especially if you're headed south toward Cincinnati or even toward Columbus. That's where we expect some of those scattered thunderstorms to be. As that front still continues to move through around lunchtime, we're still dealing with some isolated storm and shower activity into the evening until that front finally pushes on out of Ohio. Over the next 10 days, that front is going to help drop our temperatures, especially on Wednesday, and then we slowly warm to above normal temperatures by the weekend. Tonight, we'll take your low to 68 degrees. There'll be some scattered showers and storms in the area. Winds out of the southwest tonight, and they'll shift to the northwest tomorrow as that front moves through. 82 degrees, your high will keep it mostly cloudy with those isolated showers and storms. That'll help keep temperatures in the lower 80s. Overall, it's not going to be consistent storms through your hour by hour forecast, but isolated storm activity will remain possible through around 4 p.m. Then we'll finally start to dry out heading into the evening and overnight. So on your storm team two seven day forecast, we do see 60% chance of rain on Tuesday. It's going to be scattered though, so not everyone's going to see the rain. Be ready to turn on your sprinklers if your yard looks dry. Overall, we are going to see more sunshine throughout the upcoming weeks, so a lot of watering will be needed, but we do bring rain chances back into the Storm Team 2 forecast there on Monday. So we drop temperatures on Wednesday, could stay in the 70s, and then we warm things back up into the mid to upper 80s by the weekend before our next kind of frontal boundary comes through and keeps us from making it to those 90 degree temperatures.